We all know how much fun the World Boxing Super Series has been for boxing fans and already mused over the tournament visiting the light heavyweight realm. But could there actually be an even more talent-rich division, even better suited to another single elimination tournament? What if the World Boxing Super Series set up shop for featherweights? Does that sound good or does that sound bloody amazing? Eight of the top 126 pound fighters in the world battling out for worldwide fame, heavyweight money, with the last man standing, conquering a field of pound for pound luminaries, elite champions, and blue chip standouts. So how do we seed this loaded field? Well, for our money, the top slot should go to the man who most recently beat the man. And in this case, off the strength of his thrilling rematch win over Carl Frampton in January of 2017, our top seed would be Leo Santa Cruz. But don't go inking in Frampton for the second seed just yet. Sure, he and Santa Cruz were nearly dead even through 24 rounds, but we've expanded the field to include one of boxing's pound for pound best. Someone who was a super bantamweight champion saw every credible opponent flee to 126 pounds just to avoid him, including Frampton and Santa Cruz. That man, Guillermo Rigandau, is our second seed. Third seed belongs to Frampton, and fourth goes to three division world champion Abner Mares, setting up a mouthwatering showdown between Mares and reigning WBC world featherweight champion fifth seeded Gary Russell Jr. A sixth seeded Oscar Valdez, currently the WBO champ at 126 and perhaps boxing's most exciting fighter, gets third seeded Frampton in a potential fight of the year while 7th seed Lee Selby, the reigning IBF champ, gets the first round shaft, drawing the nearly impossible to beat Rigandau. And lastly, hotshot undefeated contender and potential tournament sleeper Jojo Diaz squeaks into the 8th and final slot to face number one ranked Santa Cruz in a fight fraught with peril for the top seed. But in a division this stacked, where virtually every fight is a coin flip, there really are no sure things except a slew of great fights. How super is that?